Joe Biden has already referred to Vladimir Putin as being a worthy adversary and has said that he's looking to find areas of cooperation during their five hours of talks this coming Wednesday. Well, for more, let's bring in our Washington correspondent, Ketavan Gorgistani, who is standing by. Ketavan, Joe Biden is already on the ground there ahead of this uh, lakeside summit. But just what is his and his administration's mindset as they go into these uh, talks with Vladimir Putin? Well, uh, the, the biggest one is uh, definitely to turn the page on what happened under the previous president, uh, Donald Trump, uh, reminding uh, everyone of uh, what happened between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin when the U.S. president infamously said that he uh, trusted uh, Vladimir Putin more uh, than his own intelligence uh, community. So Joe Biden and the, the White House and the whole Biden administration really want to show uh, that uh, the U.S. will stand up uh, to Russia when it has to stand up, but as you mentioned, uh, also that they're ready to cooperate in areas uh, where they can agree. But really, uh, Joe Biden uh, wants to show Vladimir Putin uh, that uh, he will be tough on Russia when that is uh, needed. And one of uh, the uh, elements that he's bringing from the previous stops that he made in Cornwall and in Brussels uh, to show Vladimir Putin is that he has the support of uh, the U.S. allies, especially uh, the European that he uh, has spoken to most of uh, these uh, leaders and that uh, he has their backing going into that meeting with Vladimir Putin. So this is not just the U.S. president. It's the U.S. president and the U.S. allies that are coming together uh, in, the, in the symbolic way uh, in Joe Biden to face uh, Vladimir Putin. And uh, the White House has been repeating this in calls with reporters. They're saying uh, and insisting on who uh, Joe Joe Biden uh, spoke to, whether it was uh, the uh, European uh, leaders like uh, Angela Merkel, the German chancellor, or the French president, uh, Emmanuel Macron, uh, but also more specifically uh, in Brussels with that eastern flank, those eastern European countries who have to deal more directly uh, with the Russians, and that he uh, had the support and he had the advice of uh, those uh, eastern European uh, leaders as to how to deal uh, with Vladimir Putin. But also also, uh, what they uh, want the American president to uh, state to uh, the Russians and show really that uh, the Western allies are united together and that they will stand up to Russia when they have to.